And it's a very good morning from me, Johnny Bryan, and I welcome you to the PlayStation Schools Cup Festival 2015, live at the Majestic Stadium in Reading. It's our third and final day of what has been a festival of fun over the last three days. This is the final day, and our opening tie here for you this morning is between Coombe Boys School of the Kingston Schools Football Association against Ribblesdale High School of the Hindburn and Ribble Valley. Some cracking starts here yesterday. Is that ball just going to run out? <laughs> 40 minutes a half for this level. It's so important to start the game well at any level you're playing in. Absolutely indeed, and this is uh, Joseph Felix for Coombe Boys. He's going to dance his money way into the box. Well, there you go, lively start, wasn't it, from Joseph Felix down this left-hand side. Chris Kelly into the box. An early opportunity here for Coombe Boy. Scored and in the back of the net, and it's by Cameron Thompson. We've seen many goals scored in the first few minutes here at this PlayStation Schools Festival, and that's up there with them as well. It's not the quickest of the, of the three days, but it's certainly fast. Cameron Thompson opens the scoring after 60 seconds. Well, that's how to do it, isn't it? You know, they came down the left-hand side, looked very lively, and then suddenly down the right-hand side, this, he cuts back on his left foot, plays it here, really intelligent play to step over. Has a touch, you think it might just have been a little bit heavy, but no, Cameron Thompson gets on the end of the... Alassani. Ryan Sessignon. Sessignon into the box, a lovely layoff, and this could be 2 0. It is 2 0. Beautifully worked goal. Tyrese Francois is the scorer. With a beautiful move from Coombe Boys School, and they're really beginning to show their class. Oh, they really are. I mean, it was a great move. And they've been a little bit critical. Too much space here. It goes past the player too easily. Knocks the ball in. Little flick, good touch. You know, that was all about the first touch, getting it set nicely for his left foot. Scorer. Ball into the box. It's a decent ball, isn't it? And it was a decent effort, but nobody got the end of it. So I think it's time that we, the strikers may have to just uh, gamble a little, just to... Well, certainly when you get in that uh, advanced positions, you've got to uh, commit your bodies in there. Sessignon. Miller. Miller still going. Miller for the shots, 3-0. Well, he wanted to get on his uh, left foot, didn't he? In the end, he cut back onto his right, tried to go back on his left, and in the end, doing really, really well with a powerful right-footed shot, one-on-one, -on -one and very difficult for the defender there. Scott Wilson, there, he, a couple of times he wanted to go back on his left, but in the end, beat the keeper at the near post. Well, the, the difficulty they've got, I think, is at the back, they've got four at the back, but there are, there's really sort of Liam Miller playing up front on his own. And they can't really mark him. They need to push maybe one one of those defenders in into midfield to make up the numbers so they don't get overrun so much. But then that means, I think, in front of them, they've got to really track runners. Every time a runner goes past here, and we're off again with Chris, Chris Kelly. Kelly shoots. Oh. oh, it's in the back of the net. 4-0, Chris Kelly, the scorer this time. And this is turning into a parade. He chose to go on his own. That's sharp. Very sharp here. Miller looking to add a fifth and does so. Well, what can you say? Other than fine play, great feet, sharp. He played the one two and he made things happen around him. And that's the sign of a player who is full, full of confidence and the ability. You don't go back far enough almost to see how he started that off with a little give and go. Makes the space for himself, and there he is with the right foot. Here's another chance here. Miller, 6 0. Oh. 
Hat trick for Liam Miller. Six 0 to Coombe Boys School. We've scored twice in four minutes at the start of this second half. The and you gotta feel, you gotta feel for Ribblesdale here. They, they, they really tried to come out, oh, you know, with some confidence and and it's again it's just been Coombe Boys same as the first half and now six goals to the good. They've hit half a dozen. Thompson. Thompson, still going. Into the box now, Thompson looking for a place to shoot. Head on the back post! 7-0. Well, he gets his goal, Ryan Sessignon, doesn't he? He's broken forward time and time again from the left left-hand left side. And that was all about Cameron Thompson drifting across the field and then playing uh, an absolutely magnificent ball back in. Look, has a little look up, I think. And that's the perfect ball to the back post. Goalkeeper has absolutely no chance. John Scales was a little bit disappointed yesterday. He had to go the crossbar challenge. In the meantime, chance here for Ryan Sessignon to add an eighth. And yeah. he has done. <laughs> Ryan Sessignon, the scorer. It's now 8-0 now to Coombe Boys School. And so now it's going to be a question, John, of how many. Can they get double figures now? Well, they could possibly, couldn't they? They've... Uh... Still got the uh, best part of 25 minutes. Again. And I think also special mention to the management, Chris Johns, the team manager, and Steve Norman, the coach. I mean, those two, it's, it's as much a reflection on the work that they obviously do with this team and Fulham. Like we said, look, it's, it's an academy team. You would expect them to come out and beat pretty much every team that they come up against if they're a school team because they're working and training together. So that's why there's really no embarrassment or shame for Ribblesdale here at all. A good lesson for them. Thompson scores and makes it the ninth goal. 9 0 now. As Chris Johns and the bench applaud their efforts here this morning. But I think it's actually a fair decision that you've actually made there because you can't really single out a particular player here yeah. and it's. I'm just, I'm really excited about, you know, when you look at this and you, you see the level that under 15 football can get to, I think the English... And there it is, there is confirmation, game over. PlayStation under 15 Open Schools Cup final winners, Akum Boys School, in comprehensive fashion by nine goals to nil. Well, I think everyone around this uh, stadium have been uh, Witness to that, you can only really sort of stand and applaud a really fine performance. Well, I'm joined now by Liam Leishman, the Ribblesdale coach. Liam, tough day for your lads, was it? Yeah, a uh, very tough day against a, a brilliant, brilliant Coombe boys side. Um, I know a lot of them, I think the full team plays for uh, Fulham, yeah. Fulham Academy, so uh, we always knew we were going to be up against a tough opposition, but uh, the way they, they knocked it around was uh, a bit too much for us on the day, and uh, they had some had some great great players in there. I think I think they had England captain, I believe. Yeah, they were a great side, but let's chat about your lads. Yeah. Tell me about their season as a whole, they, they fought hard to get here, yeah. pay tribute to them. Yeah, they've um, they've actually won the Lancashire County Cup, um, which is our, our county cup in our area. So they've already won the, the county cup. So they, they've had a brilliant season. Uh, they've won the uh, Hammer and River Valley League, um, which is our local league. So they've won everything they can win. Um, and like I say, I think today was just a step too far against the quality opposition. What next for them? Um, next year, hopefully they'll be able to uh, they'll be able to stay together and uh, keep keep playing and entering this competition because it's. Uh, it's difficult with uh, exams and things next year because they are, you know, they've only got one boy on signed on at a club, so uh, they are just, you know, all all schoolboys really. Well, we wish that you and them well. Bad luck today. Thanks very much. Cheers. Well, I'm joined now by Chris Johns, the uh, Coombe Boys School coach. Nine nil. Did you expect a little bit more from your lads? No, I wasn't expecting nine nil. Um, I'm delighted. With I 
expect. I wasn't expecting that either. Jesus. Um, no, it was a great team spirit. I'm, I'm really pleased with how everyone played. I, I, Nine nil is just, you know, I can't believe it. I'm delighted for them. Um, they deserved it. The quality was there. The intensity was there from the off. You know, we scored straight away, and they didn't take their foot off the gas pedal. They just smashed it the entire game. I'm really, really pleased for them. One thing that John Scale has mentioned, that's one of the reasons he gave the man of the match basically to the whole team. It was just one great big yeah. team performance. Yeah, I agree. I couldn't separate anyone on that pitch. There were a couple of stand-up performers, but it wouldn't have been fair to give it to one person. I mean, the whole team were unbelievable. Really, really good performance. What next now for these lads? You know, take on next year. Um, there's a few of the lads looking to push into the national team. So let's try and help them kick on with that. And you know we've won it two years in a row now, so it's you know it's asked to defend next year. So hopefully we'll be back in next year. We well, wish you well. You better go back in there and get dry. I'm uh, I'm yeah. aware of your lads for, yeah. for doing that. Yeah, we'll do. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks. Cheers, Chris.